benefits of creating an ultra kill mod. First you will want to open up your browser and search for Bepinex. You want to open up the GitHub repo and download the Windows X64 version. While that's downloading, you want to go back to Steam and then click Properties and Installed Files. Then click on Browse. You want to open up the downloaded zip file and then drag and drop that in the Ultra Cool Files directory. Then you want to go open up Steam and run Ultra Kill. While it's running, you can download Visual Studio 2022. Since I Ultra Kill is loaded, you just wait a second and then close it. Then all of the files will be generated in the Ultra Kill Bepinex directory. In the plugins folder is where you'll store mods that you build and that you download from the internet. After you've downloaded Visual Studio 2022, you want to click on Opened on the installer. After the installer is loaded, you can press Continue. And then click on Installing .NET Develop Desktop Development. Wait for it to install. Then you want to download D and then you want to download D Spy. This will be useful in the future for modding. And where you want to look at the source code and see what you can do. I download the Win64 version as well. After Visual Studio Community 2022 is installed, you want to click on launch. While Visual Studio 22 is launching, you can follow along with what I do when installing the Inspy. After Visual Studio 2022 is launched, you can click on continue. I choose the dark theme because that's what I prefer. And I also choose Visual C Sharp for my development settings. You can just click general if you're going to work with other coding languages, but I just choose to. After it launches, which may take some time, you want to go to your C drive. then users, your username, then then source, then repos, and probably pin repos to your quick access to get to it faster. The repos folder is where your mods are stored. Then you want to create a new project, then choose C Sharp class library, then next. Then you want to name what your project is called. I am naming my mod tutorial. Then click continue. While the project is being created, if you look at your repos folder, you will see that a new folder has appeared with the name of your mod. In the Visual Studio editor, you will want to right click on dependency, then add dependencies, then browse. Copy the location to your ultra kill directory.
then paste it in the window Visual Studio opens. You will want to select Assembly C Sharp and then Unity Engine.dll. As well as the other files I select, you will need to select more if your mod has different use cases. After I select OK, I re-click Browse and then navigate to Bepinex, then Core, and then select Bepinex.dll, and then I press OK. Now you want to move the namespace down and add to the top using Bepinex, and then a semicolon, and then using Unity Engine, and then another semicolon. After namespace, I add a bracket, and then type Bepin plugin, then another brackets, and copy along, but then change the parts you want. After the public class, class1, I add a colon and then base unity plugin. And I will make a void update. This will run every frame, so be careful adding all of your logic here, otherwise it will slow the game down. I enclose that in braces. Then I make a private new movement variable, but because I didn't add using ultra kill and import the old unity c sharp dll i cannot use ultra kills files so i click browse navigate to ultra kill directory and select the assembly c sharp dll and it allows me to use the ultra kill namespace now i continue and add new movement the name it player then I go back in the update and add player is equal to new movement dot instance. Now this is unoptimized and you'll probably want better logic than this, but this is just an example. After I add it, if input dot get key down, then key code dot k and then player dot rb dot add but because i am using rigid bodies i will add the unity engine dot physics module then i would add force then in add bracket, then vector3 dot up. Then I will times that by 500,000. And add a semicolon at the end. And then I will go and build solution. Or you can press Control Shift B to build. Then you want to go to Bepinex, then Plugins, and then open up your mod, and then go to the bin folder, and then debug. .net a pointer. And then you want to go and select modtutorial.dll or whatever your file project is named. And then run ultra kill. Now open up sandbox. 
And then if I press K, you will see that I fly up into the air. Make sure to like and subscribe to help upgrade my channel with galvanized square steel. And tell me in the comments if I should make a sequel where I go into more advanced topics like accessing private fields, overriding methods, and maybe adding support for a config mod like Configi.